Hello, student friends. Today we are going to understand basics of gas welding. In this session, we are going to understand what is gas welding, then principle of operation of gas welding. In gas welding, different types of flames are used and the applications of those flames. What is the chemistry of oxyacetylene flame, which is mainly used in gas welding, advantages, process limitations and applications of gas welding. So, our session objective mainly is to understand what is gas welding process, to learn the principle of operation of gas welding and different types of flames are used to learn different types of gas welding flames to understand advantages and process limitations and to understand applications of gas welding. Friends, gas welding is mainly a fusion welding process. It joins metal using the heat obtained from the combustion of oxygen or air and fuel gas and fuel gas is uh, acetylene, butane or propane etc. So, oxy or air plus fuel mixture is used as a source of heat and the, because of that combustion process, the intense heat is produced which melts the base metal and then the filler material is added to get that joint. So, the gas welding is synonym with oxyacetylene welding. So, it is a process which uses oxygen and acetylene to provide a high temperature flame. And with the help of a gas welding, the sound weld is obtained and different types of flames, they serves my purpose to process different types of material. The temperature generated during the process, the temperature range is around 3030 degree centigrade to 3480 30, degree centigrade. So, when the metal is fused, oxygen and acetylene is combined in the torch in definite proportion that gives me intense flame and we can use that flame for joining the metal. After that, fluxes are added to get uh, the metal uh, joining properly. Common fluxes used are sodium, potassium, lithium or borax as per the requirement again and flux you can use it in the form of paste, powder, liquid, solid or in a coating form. So, oxyacetylene welding process is a manual welding process. So, the person who is uh, operating it, he controls the torch movement and filler rod movement and all those equipments which are required like oxygen cylinder, gas cylinder, the hoses, the regulators, the torch, etc. These are, uh, you know, the parts of my uh, oxyacetylene welding process. Now, after understanding this, let us understand in this way, whether we correctly understood the gas welding process, a small quiz we are taking. Which of the following types of fuel gas is commonly used in gas welding? So, four options are given there, biogas, coal gas, acetylene and methane. Answer is C, that is acetylene. And the explanation for that is gas welding is um, normally referred as a oxy welding or oxy fuel welding and most of the metals are processed by oxygen plus acetylene and the temperature range as I mentioned earlier is between 3000 to 3500 degree centigrade. The another question is acetylene is a blue color gas which is mixed with oxygen to produce a hot flame. This is the question whether it is true or false answer is B that is false. So, in gas welding, acetylene is basically a colorless gas with a very distinctive odor and it is a highly combustible. So, when it is mixed with oxygen, acetylene gas is formed by mixing the calcium carbide with water and then it is com composed which forms a compound of carbon and, carbon and hydrogen having the chemical formula C2H2. So, that is why it is 
not having that color. So, this way we understood precisely the gases which are used in oxyacid link building. Now, coming to the next part of this, the types of oxyacetylene flame. The oxyacetylene gas flame has mainly it has a well controlled flame with a high temperature. The welder is having a control over that. Flame can be easily manipulated for preparing melting of the base metal. It depends upon type of metal that you are processing. It does not change the chemical composition of the base metal. And in this oxyacetylene gas welding, uh, three different types of oxyacetylene flames are there possible. One first one is neutral flame, second one is oxidizing flame and the third one is carburizing flame. Now, let us see the features here the uh, neutral flame is shown with its inner cone and the outer cone and the temperature at the point of inner cone is 2100 degree centigrade and temperature at the uh, middle is cone of that envelope is 1260 and at the end of that it is almost uh, uh, 32 50 degree centigrade. So, it is between inner cone and outer cone the temperature varies between 3040 to 3300 uh, degree centigrade. And this way oxygen and acetylene they are mixed in equal proportion the proportion is 1.1 is to 1 and this gives me this neutral flame. The name neutral flame is given because there is no chemical reaction on the base metal and this is the material this is a type of a flame which is used normally for processing many types of metal like carbon steel, stainless steel as well as cast iron, aluminum, copper these are normally processed with the help of a neutral flame. And then uh, the outer next is if I increase the proportion of oxygen in the in this that is oxygen to acetylene proportion is 1.5 is to 1 that means more oxygen than acetylene type of flame that I get is a oxidizing flame. And here the flame which is having a intense temperature and that intense temperature because oxidizing flame more oxygen is there that it burns with a decided loud roar and the uh, automatically because of more oxygen present in that mixture the temperature reaches around 3482, 3482 degree centigrade. So, a very small inner cone and the outer cone which is larger one and the temperature which reaches 3482 degree centigrade and this way uh, this is used for processing copper base metals and zinc base metal. So, whenever the high temperature is required copper and zinc base metals we want we can increase the proportion of oxygen in the oxyacetylene mixture. The third option which is a carburizing flame <coughs> in this flame the acetylene is more than the oxygen. So, here the carburizing flame is possible where oxygen proportion is 0.9 is to 1 acetylene. So, more proportion of acetylene is there than the oxygen and the temperature that is possible the temperature of the carburizing flame is around 3038 degree centigrade. So, it can be used by a uh, it, it is used for uh, welding lead as well as it is used for surface hardening purpose. And uh, the recognition of this type of a flame is the outer flame envelope is longer than the neutral flame and which is much brighter in color. And another identification is you can recognize it by acetylene feather which exists between the inner cone and outer envelope. So, we saw three uh, types of the flame and its applications. First one is neutral flame which is most popularly used for processing variety of metal. For select cases like copper and zinc based metals, we can use this second type of a flame which where in which more oxygen is present oxidizing flame and the third one for lead based metal and for surface hardening purpose we can use carburizing flame. Oxy fuel gas welding chemistry when we see the when oxygen and 
acetylene is mixed in that welding torch acetylene comes from acetylene cylinder which with, with uh, through a separate pipe it reaches to the torch oxygen comes through that different hose from the oxygen cylinder and there is a control over that mixture in the torch and when you mix it in that chamber and then when you ignite oxyacetylene mixture the reaction is and when you ignite that mixture acetylene plus oxygen it gives me carbon monoxide hydrogen and heat and when that reaction gets completed that carbon dioxide is released and the hydrogen combines with the oxygen and it released in the form of water vapor and tremendous amount of heat gets generated so it uses some amount of oxygen the reaction of oxyacetylene uses some amount of oxygen from atmosphere and that's why the one most important precaution during oxyacetylene welding is you need to carry out in the open atmosphere now in order to understand this particular aspect let us this is a quiz time rather first question is oxyacetylene process is most suited for which of the following process of joining it gives you four options metal wires metal sheets metal tubes and metal bar obviously the answer is metal sheets which is useful for thin sections and which you can control the heat and process it very effectively the second question is in a neutral flame which is the temperature in the inner core there are four options given 2100 degree centigrade 1250 degree centigrade and 2700 degree centigrade at the point of a inner cone the answer is a where the temperature is 3200 degree centigrade so that intense heat produces gives me the required you know combustion temperature and required heat for melting the base metal let us come to now the last part of this session advantages process limitations and application framework of that gas welding it's a most versatile process you can use it for uh, you can take the equipments to the site and uh, you can process it in any way as per your requirement and uh, it's very easy to uh, you know control the temperature welder has considerable control over the temperature of the metal and weld zone as welder is processing it he is having uh, a torch in his hand and it is in his control the entire weld zone the rate of heating and cooling is relatively low when i compare it with the different other types of welding processes that is arc welding processes and other uh, resistance welding processes here the rate of heating and cooling is relatively low which is in my favor in order to control the likely defects in the welding due to the more heat now the next one more advantage is welding has control over weld deposition rate to complete that joint welder is having torch in his welding torch in his one hand and filler rod in the another hand and he with the help of a proper technique he ensures that weld deposition rate is uniform one the equipment is versatile low cost and self sufficient and usually portable this makes me the process more applicable because you can take anywhere in the your uh, shop and can weld it and can complete your task this is a most important flexibility offered by welding for gas welding process the cost and maintenance of welding equipment is low when compared to that of some of some other welding equipment processes ultimate objective of any manufacturing process is the cost quality and the time duration during which you can complete the process on all the three fronts gas welding helps me it's very competitive process very economic process we have to understand even some of the process limitations also now mostly this uh, gas welding process is suitable for thin sections heavy sections cannot be joined economically second another problem is flame temperature is less than the temperature of the arc this is a limitation but you can weld thin sections very economically 
but if more uh, thick section if you want to weld gas welding is not a suitable process there are two important categories of material one is refractory material in which tungsten molybdenum tantalum are there and another category of metal is reactive metals that is titanium and zirconium those cannot be welded by this process another important is gas flames you know takes a long time to heat up the metal and that's why if if instant intense heating is my process requirement gas welding is not suitable fluxes used are another thing is irritating to the eye nose throat and lungs so gas environment from the safety point of view asks for lot of safety precautions to be taken prolonged heating results in larger heat affected area and that's the issue in some materials more safety problems are associated with handling and storage of a gas so that is very crucial as far as gas welding process limitations are concerned now applications are concerned for gas welding it is as i mentioned earlier it is suitable for joining thin material most of the non ferrous and non ferrous materials you can join it with the help of gas welding in case of uh, very important sector like automotive and even in aircraft industries gas welding is deployed sheet metal fabrication uh, plants gas welding is very popularly used and these another two areas where joining material in whose case excessive high temperature resulting in rapid heating and cooling of a job which produces unwanted or harmful changes there you can use gas welding and the another case is for joining material in whose case excessively uh, excessively high temperature would cause certain elements to uh, in the metal to escape into the atmosphere this is highly likely case there you can avoid such a scenario in case of a gas welding so we learnt in this session about what is gas welding how gas welding is having its uh, versatility how oxyacetylene is the major one which meets our all requirement the next one we discussed about the types of the flames which you can produce it and widen the scope of the gas welding process we understood the chemistry of oxyacetylene process and then we understood about its advantages disadvantages and as well as application framework of gas welding in the next session we are going to understand about gas welding process that is gas welding equipments like gas cylinder oxygen gas cylinder acetylene gas cylinder we use regulators the pressure differential how it is maintained through the regulators pressure gauges the hoses which are used the welding torch and then the other types of the equipments which are needed to carry out gas welding for a quality weld that is in the next session that is gas welding process thank you all for this session